name is Tetsu Yahagi. I'm a professionally trained chef born and raised in Japan. Like many of you, I have sushi obsession, and I just can't get enough of it. Now that I live in California, I have access to farmers market every week, and beautiful and exotic vegetables fresh from local farmers are abundant. So I thought, why not turn these vegetables into sushi? Put my creativity and experiences as a chef into creating artistic one bite masterpiece. So today, I'm taking on a challenge of using bell pepper. All right, ready? So we're going to make red pepper sushi today. Look at these beautiful peppers I got. So we're going to put these in a pan and drizzle some oil. And just rub and coat the oil all around the peppers. Now we're going to put this in oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. While we're cooking the peppers, let's make sauce for marinating the peppers. We need sake, we need mirin, sweetened sake, and soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yay. I got you. Put it down. All right, let's move on. Let's go. Come on. So, two tablespoons of sake and two tablespoons of mirin, sweetened sake. You can find these in Asian grocery markets. We're going to turn on the flame and cook it under medium heat just until the alcohol is evaporated. Let me show you how it looks in the pot with my GoPro. See, it started boiling. <clears throat> well, that means there's still alcohol left. Okay, so all the alcohol is evaporated. We're gonna turn off the heat and then add three tablespoons of soy sauce. Just like that. We're going to put this away for now. We'll use it later. Let's check out what's going on with the peppers in the oven with my GoPro. Mm, look at that. It looks really nice. It smells really good too. Make sure we rotate so all sides cook evenly. While waiting, we can text our friends, have some tea, or read some books. Alright, so 30 minutes has passed and pepper should be ready. Oh, nice, nice, beautiful peppers. All right, let's transfer these in a bowl. We're going to put plastic wrap on top and let us steam until the peppers are cooled down. It smells so good. So the peppers are cold enough to handle. We're going to take them out on a cutting board and clean them. So if the peppers are roasted properly, skin should peel off easily. Just like that. See? So here's a close-up. So we're gonna take the core out, throw that out. And peel the skin just like this. And then scrape off seeds if there's some seeds on the other side. Now we're going to cut them in perfect rectangles. So length should be about two and a half inches and then width should be about 1.5 inches. Just like that. Just like that. Looks pretty, right? All same shape, like little toy soldiers. Don't throw away the scraps. We're going to use them later. So let's make sure we save them. We're going to transfer these in glass container.
and pour the marinating sauce on top. See, it kind of looks like tuna already, doesn't it? The peppers need to be marinated for about half an hour. Now we're going to take them out of the marinade and place them on top of kitchen paper. Now we are ready for sushi making. Okay, cool. So the rice we're using today is sushi rice mixed with red shiso salt. If you're interested in my sushi rice recipe, there's another video linked below, so check it out. Let's do one close up so you can see how I do this. It looks like tuna, right? I mean, I fool so many people. I told them this is tuna, they all believe it. And when they eat it, they're like, no, it's not tuna, but this is so good. So we're making rolls too. Remember the scraps that we saved? That's what we're using. So we're not wasting any food here, you know? I'm going to cut them in six pieces, just like real tuna roll. Ta-da! Hey, Omachi! Push the like button if you enjoyed it, and subscribe so you don't miss the new videos. Yo!